Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure for doing an oil change on a JB Industries DV6E vacuum pump. Now it's important to remember that this vacuum pump is rated to go down to 25 micron. So the first step in our procedure is going to be to test how far the vacuum pump actually can pull down. So we have a wider amateur hose connected to the 3 h fitting on the vacuum pump with a quarter inch fitting being planked off. A wider amateur Aprion hose is then connected all the way onto a Testo 552 vacuum gauge. This is the rig that we are going to use to test how deep down the vacuum pump can pull. So let's get this switched on and let's start the procedure. <laughs> Well, as you can see, the vacuum pump isn't pulling down uh, much lower than 125, 123 micron. So it's very clear at this point that the vacuum pump oil isn't creating a good enough seal inside the vacuum pump. Um, and it's for this reason that the next step is going to be to actually change the oil out and get some fresh oil in there. So as we can see here, the oil level is actually a little bit low on this vacuum pump and the oil is a little bit milky which would account for why we weren't getting a proper vacuum level. So on the pump we have over here, which is the oil charging port, we have the 3 eighths and quarter inch fittings for where your hoses will fit onto. And then at the bottom here, what you will find is just a little oil drain plug. So you just open that up and that's where the oil will drain out. What I usually do is I try and open the top port over here just a little bit as well as the oil port just to make it easier for the oil to run out as we charge the oil or, or drain the oil out at least. So what we're going to do, we're just going to loosen that and there the oil runs out. Now an important thing to mention is that this oil plug specifically on this particular vacuum pump actually doesn't pull all the way out. So even if you loosen it all the way, to, it will basically just come forward but it won't drop all the way out. So it's designed in such a way that it will actually just sit there so you have no risk of losing the plug. So the vacuum pump oil that we're going to use is the black cold DV012 vacuum pump oil which actually comes from JB Industries and actually is the standard oil that comes with this particular vacuum pump. <laughs> So as we've mentioned, 
This is the oil charge port at the top of the vacuum pump that we'll be using and we'll be charging the black gold vacuum pump oil. And you can see it has a nice little adapter at the top there which makes it easy for us to fill the oil level up to where we need it to be. And then obviously we'll have to just close the plug at the bottom. And what I usually do is I let the oil fill up slightly through the port and then I just let the oil drop out the bottom until we're ready to close the oil plug completely. What I'd usually do is I would just top it up slowly and as you can see we're just letting a little bit of oil drop out the bottom and now we're going to close the plug because we've gotten rid of all the last little bit of the old oil. So we'll just keep topping it up slightly slightly as we go and do it very slowly because she does top up uh, very quickly and the level goes up quickly and then you can overfill her very easily. As you can see, that's the oil level we're trying to get to and the level hasn't moved at all. So we're just going to be very patient as we fill up. And as you can see, once she starts filling up, she fills up very quickly. So you have to be very careful at how you fill up because that level rises very quickly. And that a lot of that has to do with the fact that as you charge the oil from the top of the port and it starts running down, you know, it takes a bit of time before you actually see the side glass rise. So we've got to top it up very slowly and very gradually until we get the level that we're looking for. <laughs> As you can see the oil level is now right exactly where we want it, right on the oil mark on the pump. I'm quite happy that it's full there and that uh, the plug is closed at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to close her up now and get her ready to run another vacuum test. <laughs> Right, we're happy that the oil level is exactly what it has to be and we've closed all the caps. So let's go ahead and get her ready and get her attached to the rig so we can start the new vacuum test. <laughs> Yes. 
Well, there you have it, guys. Down to 32 micron after the oil change, which suggests a very good seal inside the vacuum pump, and that's going to allow us to get very low vacuum levels as we evacuate our systems. Anyway, guys, that's the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>